Okay, hi everybody, this is A7X Fan Ben, and today I'm going to try to show you how to build a ship. So I've got HMS Adventure here. This one is a somewhat recent addition to my collection. Got it, I think, through a trade. This is from the Caribbean set, just a small ship. So it comes in the card, so I'm going to punch it out for the first time. So, just punch it out. I like to be careful. Sometimes with the jib, sometimes I go one at a time. I like separate with a nail, maybe I separate the jib boom from the sail for example and then i get the flag out this one is really basic so only five five parts to the ship here so i usually start with the starboard side here um so i'm just going to start going in here i like to go from the stern to the bow with the hull so i just snapped that in there really basic it worked well and then here i usually sometimes with larger ships sometimes i curve out the hull a little bit I kind of smooth it out and try to curve it, get a little bit of a curvature before I put it in. Usually not though, so I usually curve it as I'm going. So I get the I get the back part in first at the stern, and then I kind of curve it and angle it towards the bow, and then I try to get the front um, the front part in here, the front tab, and then so I go. So I like to have a lot of pressure points all around the slot because if you, you just try try doing it with like one finger or one hand even you're going to be more likely to end up with a break. So I like to have um, fingers up near the near the front and then more like one on each side around the actual hull piece too in this case or in, in terms of masts. In terms of masts you could have that as well. So I just got that in there. So eventually I just kind of pinched it in and sometimes you do have to force it a little bit. And then I also like to have, um, sometimes you can see, probably not right now, but sometimes there's a lot of daylight between the hull piece and the deck. So I like to smooth it out by trying to press the deck um, flush against the hull piece. And then now I'll add the port side, or the left side, larboard, of course. So here I go in from the stern again. That's the easy part. So we've got the back part in there. And then once again, I do a little curvature as I'm kind of getting that front slot into place near the mast or near the bow I should say and that one went in easier than the other side and it's pretty normal to have a little bit of striations or some kind of paint chipping off on the on the different tabs and stuff as you poke things through so at this point I usually like to add flags last so I've got the main mast here this is where you want to be a little more careful usually mast breaks are probably the most common types of breaks uh, for building ships from this game. So the way I like to do it, I like to, sometimes with here, you've got a narrow hull. So the ship has a narrow beam, so I can't always get a finger in there to be right underneath the mast, but I like to have something under the mast. And then I like to have finger on each side, of course, of the mast and hold it as close as possible to the base where the tab is. And then just, again, get a lot of pressure points everywhere else to hold the ship really steady. And then you can just wiggle the mast in in this case, it's just a one master, so I'm not gonna have too much trouble with it. It went in nicely. Sometimes um, it just won't go in very nicely at all. So you can use, um, I usually just use another, like a part of the card. So I'll stick like a corner of the card into a slot to widen the slot. Or in the sets before Caribbean, they had pennant flags on a decent amount of the ship types. So you can poke one of those through. They're pretty small, but they work great for widening slots a little bit. And then after you widen it um, from front to back, widen the entire slot, not, ju not just the middle part, because um, they fit pretty snugly. So you want to widen the entire slot, not just, you know, one little p part of it. So, and then after you widen it a bit, you can try again. And uh, sometimes, again, sometimes you kind of have to go kind of hard once in a while. It'll make a pretty loud snap when you get it in correctly. So not just when you break it. And then, of course, the flag, the stern flag is the easiest part. So we put the Union Jack on the stern there. And now HMS Adventure is ready to sail forth. So a little bit fuzzy, but that's all right. So HMS Adventure, one of the newer additions to my collection. That's how to build a one-masted sloop. So let me know if you want to see more. Uh, question of the day would be, how best do you build ships? Any tips for anybody, anything that I missed? Any tips you want to give people in the comments? And let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. I did find just now a few other ship types including a few larger ships that I could build 
in this kind of tutorial video. So please let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more. Uh, but beyond that, I'll see you again soon for more Pirate CSG videos.